put together the two sides and the back and it's just been made out of 3x2 uh, battens. I've only done uprights, I don't know whether I should be doing horizontal pieces or not but uh, I'm going to leave it for now. Maybe you can let me know in the comments below if you think I should have horizontal braces on there as well. And it's been really easy to put together. I've just got the uh, the joins are just you know there's two screws coming through from in this case the bottom up into the uh, upright piece there, and then up at the top I've just got two screws going down into the the bracing button as well. These three sides are just going to be screwed together now and then screwed down into the brickwork. And then the next stage, which will be a little bit more complicated, will be to build the front piece and then the roof. So that's the two sides and the back screwed together. And I've just screwed them with three or four screws down each uh, corner post and it's you know it's feeling a lot more stable now it's pretty solid and I'm still unsure with, as to whether I should put horizontal braces in as well uh, I've got these vertical braces at uh, 60 centimeter so two foot centers um, well roughly two foot centers the ones at the back are they're all two foot apart from that one on the right hand side which is maybe two foot three or something which is why it looks um, why that one distance there is a little bit greater I'll just give you a quick idea of how I'm putting the framework together this is the front piece which I'm building so I'm actually building them all just sort of laying flat in the garage um, it's just because it's a lot easier to screw them together that way um, and then I'm just carrying them around and screwing them together one side at a time I've just lifted round the front, the framework for the front, and it's just I've just clamped it, um, so it's just held loosely. And that's how I've been doing it really. I've just been clamping them all together, adjusting them until they're, you know, sort of exactly in the right position, and then screwing them together. So I'll do that with the front section, and then I've also got the um, obviously the door frame will go in here. Okay, so that's that sorted. I've got the door frame in, uh, which goes right down to the ground there. Obviously, I'll need to put the top of the, the door frame in at some point as well, but I'm not 100% sure how tall the door is yet. So, I'll, And also, I'm not sure what I'm going to floor the, uh, the studio with, so I don't know whether I'll need to raise the door up a little bit if I decide to use laminate flooring or something. So, all I need to do now to secure the frame down is I'm just going to drill through uh, the bottom rung and put some roll plugs down in the bricks and attach it all the way around that way. You can just about see I've got the the framework lined up with the outer edge of the bricks so when I put the tongue and groove on um, it's gonna you know just overlap the bricks which will mean the water runs down and you know it doesn't sort of pull on top of the bricks and run inside and um, because I've used three inch wide timber and the bricks are four inches obviously that means there's a you know there's a little bit of a lip on the inside of about, a, about an inch here uh, some of that will be covered by the tongue and groove which I'm going to put on the inside and then I might just put you know a bit of beading, beading along to uh, to finish that off and the bricks will be painted on the inside anyway so it should look okay I think. To get my fixings in I've drilled a pilot hole and um, with a little drill bit and then I'm just going to go through with the masonry bit now. Change it to hammer setting. And then I'm just going to 
tapping a roll plug and I'm going to use my screw to knock it through the timber until I can feel it's hit the, hit the brickwork and then just tighten it up. And these are 80 mil screws I'm using. Um, I'm not sure. I think they're big enough. I'm not sure if I should be, be using anything more substantial um, to go into the brickwork, but I think it'll be all right. Um, I can't see it blowing off really, especially once the, you know, all the cladding's on and the roof's on. I think there'll be a fair bit of weight in there, and I can't really see any benefit to using any any you know larger fixings. But let me know in the comments if you think if you know if you think I'm wrong with that. If you think I should be using um, something a bit a bit more substantial. I suppose I, I could use coach bolts or something. Uh, one thing I don't want to do is you know crack the bricks though. I've built three of these apexes for the roof today. Um, the first one was a little bit tricky just because the angles are so awkward. Uh, so you can see there's a sharp angle with the top piece there. Some funny angles in the middle and then these bracing pieces obviously have to be cut to size as well. It wasn't too bad once I'd done um, the first, once I'd built the first um, one of these, because obviously I've built three now. The first one, you know, I worked out the angles and the lengths and stuff and the next two weren't too bad really and I just used the chop saw you see at the back there to, to cut, the, uh, cut the angles. And the way I did, the way I worked it out, um, you can sort of see there's two right angle triangles, so, you know, one side of the structure is a right angle triangle and then the other side is the same so because I knew the the length of the the bottom piece this piece along here and then I also knew the height which is that length there and because this here is a right angle I could use that to work out the length of the uh, the other length on the triangle there just using the hypotenuse formula so pretty happy they're done they're going to go up now it's pretty windy outside so I'm not sure how easily I'm going to get them up there but incidentally the when I cut this sharp angle here this is the off cut that was left and that just fits in to strengthen the uh, the ends there which was quite handy I've got the three apexes on and I'm just starting putting the horizontal lats on now. Uh, I'm just filming from inside because it's it's really windy out there but I'll I'll give you a walk around and the audio will probably be a bit rubbish. So I'm putting the horizontal lats at 50 mil, sorry, 500 mil centers. So there'll be five down the front and five down the back. So I've finished putting the roofing lats on, uh, well beams I should say. So as I say, there's five going down the front and five going down the back. And they're going to support the plywood boards which will go on top and then eventually the I haven't decided on what what roofing uh, material to use yet it'll probably be you know like a, a corrugated sheet or or something but as i say i'm not too sure yet so that's the framework finished thanks very much for watching hope you enjoyed it please give the video a thumbs up and please subscribe and tune in next time for the cladding going on i think that'll be the next job